The annual Geminid meteor shower will peak this weekend and here with everything you need to know, Dr. Jennifer Hoffman, an astronomer and professor with DU, we're so glad to have you with us. Thank you, it's great to be here. So let's start with the basics because yes. I have no idea what a Geminid meteor shower <laughs> is. I didn't even know how to pronounce it earlier. So please let myself and the viewers know what exactly is that? Sure, well a meteor shower is when the earth in its orbit goes through a period, um, a region of space where there's a lot of debris. And in this case, the debris was left behind by an asteroid asteroid that goes around the sun on its own time scale, but we pass through that debris field once a year. And the reason it's called Geminid is that the meteors that it produces will appear to come from the constellation of Gemini. Oh. I like to say people in Colorado know how to drive in the snow. You know when you're driving in the snow and all the snow is coming right at you. So when uh, you are facing Gemini this time of year, you're looking in the direction the Earth is moving and all of those little rocks are coming right at us. Mm. When can we see this? Like, is there, can you time this out? Like, what's the best time to maybe get a glimpse? Sure, there's, uh, there's a predicted peak, which will be Saturday night. Um, but I have already seen a few uh, oh. in the nights leading up to it. And so if it happens to be cloudy Saturday or you don't get outside, you still have a good chance of seeing it for a, another few nights after that. What are you looking for, right? If I'm looking up the sky, like <laughs> <Right>. movement, <laughs> yes. you know? Right, so there, there will be streaks of light. They'll have fast, Ooh, light. fast Pretty. streaks that will fly across the sky. They will all appear to be coming from the same place, but they won't be, it won't be like you're standing in the shower and getting rained on. It will be a couple oh, yeah. per minute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and some of them with this shower can be, can have color. So they might look white, Ooh. but they might look yellow or orange. Oh, that is beautiful. They might be faster, they might be slow. So you just have to go outside, look up, and just kind of be patient. Is there like a specific spot in Colorado or a few that you would recommend that would have the best view? Not really, it's, it's anywhere you can see a good sky. So I would say get away from lights as much as possible. The nice thing about this particular year is that the moon will not be up. So that makes the sky very bright. Uh, I'm sorry, not very bright. <laughs> dark is what we want. Um, so uh, you can go anywhere you can find a dark sky and really just kind of sit down in a, in a lawn chair and make yourself comfortable, bundle up a little and just like open your eyes. It's good to stay out a few minutes to, to let your eyes adjust to the dark. Okay, that was gonna be my question, like mm. how long does it take? And if I just like whip out my iPhone, can I capture some of this or do I need, is this like a photographer's kind of paradise where you need like the good stuff, the I good think equipment? For, because it's so hard to predict where they're gonna be, I think it will be hard with an iPhone. Mm. Um, I think you really want a very long exposure in order to capture something. So this is really a naked eye, um, a naked eye event. And yeah, I would stay out for half an hour till your eyes get adjusted, um, but just sort of wait and see what comes your way. Could and be very exciting. Chris Bianchi earlier was talking about it being like the longest night, or it is coming up. This coming is up. happening on the longest night? Uh, the longest night is the winter solstice, so that will be a little bit later, ne next week. It's around the 20th, um, but we're getting close. So the great thing about this time of year is it gets dark early. You might see some. Best time is typically after midnight, between oh. midnight oh, and now. two. Unfortunately, yeah. I'm done. <laughs> right. But you don't have to. <laughs> as soon as it's dark, you have a chance of seeing okay. them. So I would, okay. I would try any time of night. Okay, I'm up to at least like 10. Yeah, so. right. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Dr. Hoffman, thank you so much. You're so welcome. Thank you.